Do you wish that your gray hair was thicker and more voluminous like your favorite YouTuber? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some beautiful things about having gray fine natural hair that you may not have thought of. And I hope by the end of this video, you have a bit more appreciation for your gray fine natural hair. One of the things that I realize that I appreciate about my gray fine natural hair is the fact that I get to use less product, which means I don't have to buy more product as frequently and that saves me some money so that is an awesome advantage of having gray fine natural hair another thing that I realized that I love about the fact that my hair is gray and fine when I have less product and the fact that there's not my hair is not as dense it's easier to do wash and goes definitely the fact that my hair is finer and thinner means that I don't have to spend as much time styling my hair and who of us couldn't use some more time, right? And if you guys remember, I did do a video talking about the different factors for you to consider when you look at your favorite YouTuber and you are trying to imitate a style that they do and you don't always get the result that you've seen. And some of that could be because of the porosity, the density, as well as the texture of your own hair. Another thing that I love about the fact that my hair is gray and fine is the fact that it gets great definition. So my sister is not a fan of wash and goes. And one of the reasons is because her hair is so thick and also she gets a whole lot of shrinkage. I get shrinkage too. But my definition, because of the fact that my curl pattern and my hair is so fine, is a lot more defined than, say, someone with thicker hair. So that is an advantage to having gray fine natural hair. This is something else that I've noticed about my gray fine natural hair that I'm not sure is the same for you. It's easier for my hair to be a lot softer, I feel, because it is fine and there's not as much density to it. Not to say that those with thicker hair don't have soft hair. Something. I also want to let you know about a YouTuber that I found. Her name is Star Puppy, who really helped me to see the how even having fine natural hair is another opportunity for me to practice self-love and acceptance because there are things that we can do with our thin natural hair. There are vitamins that we can take. There are teas and oils that we can use to maybe try and help thicken our hair. There may be certain styles that we can do to achieve the look of more volume than those who have naturally thicker hair. But at the end of the day, what our gray fine natural hair needs the most is acceptance and love. And not comparing to those who have thicker hair and saying one is better than the other. We tend to do that sometimes as women with a lot of things, right? Compare ourselves to other women and based on that comparison decide whether or not what we have is insufficient. And what I appreciate about Star Puppy's video is she talked a lot about how envy is a secondary emotion. The first emotion that brings up that envy is feelings of inadequacy. And that really touched me deeply because you could automatically think, oh, don't compare yourself. Oh, I wish I wasn't envious. But when you look a little deeper and realize, wait a minute, I'm thinking that I'm not beautiful enough because my hair doesn't look like so-and-so. That's something that we need to do some work on, right? Or I definitely, I had to do some work on. So when you realize that having hair on our head in general is something that we can be appreciative for. It's much better to look for the reasons why our hair is an amazing thing, even if it looks different. That just because something is different doesn't mean that it's bad or it's inadequate in any way. What I love also about Star Puppy is she's representing those who have 4C fine natural hair and helping them see that their hair can be just as beautiful as those who have thicker, more lush, voluminous hair. Our hair is definitely a part of where we get some of our esteem, but it doesn't define completely who we are. And so when there are things that we don't like as much <laughs> as other things, um, it's important instead of focusing on those insufficiencies to focus on the things that we do love and we do appreciate when you feel comfortable in your own skin how you are that is an attractive quality people feel comfortable to be around you 
as opposed to when we constantly are looking at others. And this is something that I try to mention a lot, not just for you guys, but for myself also. There's nothing wrong with admiring those who have uh, thicker, voluminous hair, but not at the expense of doubting or feeling as if what we have is not adequate enough. That's really something that I took away from her video that I appreciated and I wanted to make sure that I added in this video when I talked about some of the advantages of having gray fine natural hair. Look for the ways that it is an amazing thing. It's your hair, it's your crown and loving all of you is something that is a really good gift to give yourself. And so I hope, like I said at the end of this video, you're able to look at your gray fine natural hair in a different way. I find society is always, I mean, they profit off of us feeling inadequate. That was another thing she mentioned that was so true. They profit off of us feeling like it's not enough and we need to change it. But there is such a freedom when you surrender to what is what your hair already is and trying to embrace that and you know you do the things that you can to enhance it but at the end of the day it is what it is and when you are able to accept that and love it you you are definitely free from that shackle of like oh I need to add extensions or I need to do this I need to do that and I I will say that I have been guilty of that you know trying to emulate more of what I see instead of looking at what I see and appreciating it more. So as I tell you guys, this video is more than just about hair. I really want to encourage you to do the work of self-acceptance and self-love because that is even better than any practical hair tip that I can give you because it helps you to be comfortable in your own skin. So I'd love to hear from you guys any other advantages you feel come from having gray fine natural hair in the comments below. Any other tips that you have on self-acceptance because remember even the gray hair journey taught us about loving ourselves more right? So if you now are gray and you're like okay my hair is gray i've accepted that but it's fine it's getting thinner and our hair changes as we get older and some things we can do about it and other things we cannot do about it so love at the end of the day and acceptance and compassion are really great things to bring to any change or challenge that we have and really help us to have more peace three advantages of having gray fine natural hair the fact that we use less product which saves us money we don't have to spend as much time styling our hair which saves us time and i'm able to achieve better definition having fine natural hair as well as the fact that my hair is a little bit softer so i thank you guys so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you on the next one bye